Hey guys, so I am back with another video and I'm super excited to be sharing with you guys my findings. Um, obviously you already know what it is by the title above. This is going to be a dumpster dive haul and I'm going to give you guys a few um, tips and tricks. I just spat everywhere, but um, I'm going to give you guys a few tips and tricks on my experience and how everything went for me. So um, as far as things that you'll need, I highly recommend gloves because I went in there with no gloves and I cut my finger when I like actually jumped into one of the trash receptacles um, so I highly recommend gloves um, a flashlight is key because I usually go at nighttime so you really have no choice but to use a flashlight and I have like this really cool flashlight that has a magnet on it and it's super bright so I just stick it inside and that will give me like uh, two free hands to look around for everything um, also hand sanitizer I find that that is key um though I know they say you're not supposed to use it often because it like kills off the bad bacteria and the good bacteria but it's good to have um especially when you're finished in that area and then you touch your steering wheel um bag a trash bag or bags to put your findings in those really come in handy um now those are all of the tips that I have. Now, as I go through each thing, I will let you guys know where I got this this stuff from, so you guys will know like where you could try and um, dumpster dive at. Um, the best time I was questioned. The best time to go, I guess, for me, it depends on. It depends on your location. Like, I guess if it's really busy, you could go at nighttime but if it's like really slow or the dumpster is behind a building that no one like would ever walk by then you could go in the daytime I'm gonna try and go in the daytime and see how that works for me but right now me and my boyfriend go at nighttime and um we usually try to go anywhere from like 9 to 11 but I really recommend 11 because um, at 9, even though most stores close at like 9 and 10, they still stay like an extra hour because they have to shut down everything and take everything out, take trash out, do this, do that, whatever. So I really recommend maybe 11 o'clock if you're going to go. Because one of the stores we were at, a guy came out and he's like, is everything okay? Um, how can we help you? I'm like, well, we're just moving. We need boxes. So everything's fine but he walked away and that was that but anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and get started um first thing I put stuff in this little Christmas bag here and it's just Christmas stuff that I got from the Dollar Tree um I went to like three different locations one of them was like a complete bust but the first two were um very rewarding that's the but I found this little ornament, which I hate, but I'm going to keep them because my mom has been wanting ornaments, um, like to put on her windows and stuff like that. But I found this little ornament and it's gold. So we may could put it on our tree next year. Uh, found this, uh, what is this? Tissue paper. And for some reason this year, I just had the hardest time because we always have our Christmas stuff in boxes because we always go to the shed and get our stuff for the Christmas holiday if you don't know I live in the country so everything goes to like a shed that we have built um and we usually have stuff already in there because my mom kind of goes Christmas shopping after the holidays because like Walmart for instance has a 75% off sale but I wasn't able to find any tissue paper so I had the hardest time with tissue paper so I was like let me grab this I'm going to I'm going to take this tissue paper because it's something that I actually use um, the next thing was this Christmas bag, which nothing was wrong with it. It's just a little tiny, maybe a wine uh, bottle bag, but things could fit in there. So I took that because you can never go wrong with that. Um, and the last thing were these Christmas cards, which I found blue clues and blue clues of those like that. Different Christmas cards. So this was my first time going and who inspired me to go was Miss Redbone 2010. I had seen her um, dumpster dive haul 
and I asked her a couple questions she answered them and basically I'm the type of person if I want to go do something I'm gonna do it immediately and that day I went but previous to that I had went before and I had no luck but I think it's just that city that I choose to go in and it sucks so bad but um also from the Dollar Tree I got Buku's like 50 rolls of um, wrapping paper which I'll insert a clip for you guys but they had the wrapping paper and I, it was still more wrapping paper inside the dumpster but I just took about 50 rolls which probably will last us maybe three or four Christmases because my mom is a gift card giver so only Christmas presents that are being wrapped are like my sisters or really really immediate family if she gets them anything so Christmas paper yeah and also something that's not mentioned in here it was like one of those mesh um laundry bags from the dollar tree i know you guys know what i'm talking about which i gave to my mom is what she used for her um work clothes so she can section them off from her actual clothes because it's a product on her clothes that can't get on everybody else's clothes so that too and the next thing was these christmas bows from the dollar tree and i got a whole box full of these bows and I'll show you guys really quick what the bows actually look like and this is what they look like and it's enough for all of our windows I thought I don't know if this is a defect or not but they only have one like bell on them and I checked like five of them and they all have one bell but either way go they're cute and they'll fit perfectly on our windows and it's enough for all of our windows because we have a lot of windows Next is this thing, it's just laying here. We went to like this odds and ends store. I um, forgot what it was called. Just That was the first night that we started up to that. We just went random places and um, my boyfriend found this wind chime. Really heavy duty. The only thing that was wrong with it was this little part was broken, which um, he can take that off and it'll be a perfectly working wind chime. So like I said, we got that from like a little odds and ends store um next is this tool store that is in our area um but I think they're I'm sure they're all over the United States I don't know um I guess you can let me know down below if you guys have a tool store like this but it's called um Harbor Freight and my boyfriend found this little wrench thing which is broken but he says he can do something with it I don't know but he works on his car a lot so that's great oh also um from the Dollar Tree found a lot of these chandelier bulbs and we have a chandelier that was missing like five bulbs and I was able to restore like all of those bulbs the only thing it was like it was a pack of two so one was broken and one was still visibly fine so all of those fit into the chandelier uh, my boyfriend found this little doohickey which i don't know my tools apparently it's a 1200 pound capacity cable puller and it looks like this and he said it still works he has no clue as to why they pulled it threw it away but this is what it looks like I guess he's gonna pull some stuff I don't know um next is this drop light from the same store which looks like that and the note that was on this it says that it blows the bulb every time um so this is something he said that he can work with as well but this is something that you like put in your car if you're working at night or you can hang around anything that you're working on and it'll yeah but that's that looks like that and this I think was like worthless but I guess he can I don't know about tools so I don't know what he can do but I think this he said is something to split logs with which is missing the point but I don't know he said he can do something with it and the last thing from there is this um, headlight which comes in handy of course if you're dumpster diving and I've already sanitized everything so no worries but 
working? Oh, it's not. It was working the other night. I don't know. But the only thing that was wrong. Oh. Put the battery thing out. The only thing that was wrong with this is that the clip is missing on one side. So therefore the battery, um, the battery like connector thing doesn't stay put. Like so this just needs like tape or it does like, if, you know, it does like that. So all we need for this is some tape. And it'll work and this is just gonna be used for dumpster diving so nothing you know nothing big okay um <clears throat> next is some stuff I don't know what I guess this is just a hodgepodge of stuff this is some stuff that I got from not necessarily stuff I got from a particular store but this is something I got from office Either way it goes, check your local office supply stores because I can't remember. It's so many of them. It may be Office Depot or something. But I found this really big binder. These are high. My mom said they retail usually for 50 bucks. So I'm about to start school next week. So this will actually come in handy. And I guess they threw it away because the top is slightly damaged like that. But I can use it. Um. Also... I'm going to show you guys that in a different video. Also, I found this cute little um, glass holder that was at the same odds and ends store that I found that um, wind chime in. So that's that. And I want to say, guys, don't be afraid to, like, get down and dirty because a lot of these dumpsters, my boyfriend literally had to pick me up, toss me in, and I ripped through every single bag because... You actually usually have to dig for the stuff. It's not so, most of the, what I have found. It was not on top of the like pile of stuff. You actually have to dig through and find the stuff. So you actually probably would be better off getting in unless you can reach the bags, pull them out, and rip through them there and put everything back in the trash. But I recommend just getting in because that's easier. If, only if you have a partner because I tried to get in the dumpster by myself and out one time and I kind of got stuck. So. Yeah, just make sure you have a partner. Also, I found this at a glance weekly monthly calendar, which also will be great for school. Um, it's a planner slash calendar thing, and I can write little notes and everything. So all of that will be going in my backpack. And also from the Dollar Tree, I found like five or eight of these bands right here. And the only things that were wrong with these were that they were cracked. Some of them were cracked, some of them won't. So I'm using those. Um, also from that odds and ends store, I found this sea salt um, scrub, which looks like this. And I love these for like the shower time. And this was not open. The only thing that was wrong was this cap was completely destroyed. But other than that, it's never been open. It still has the plastic like cellophane on top. So that's good to go. Um, next... These are our bag of gift cards. I was told to keep these. Like, I watched the video. The guy was like, keep them. But I can't remember for what. Um, I'm probably going to throw them away to tell you the truth. CVS, I found a pack of Sharpies. It was only missing. It looks about, like, two Sharpies were missing. So, these, again, are great for school. And, yeah. Also from CVS. But here are the rest of the bands. Also from CVS found these books which the only thing they do is rip off the bags I'm assuming so you cannot go back in and try to return them or um, exchange them or anything but this is the book excuse me ah. it's morning time I just woke up but I had to do this because it's so much stuff but this is Lee Child Jack Reacher's Never Go Back or something like this my boyfriend likes to read so he wanted these books um, this one is Patricia Cornwell. It's called Dust. Tom Clancy, Command Authority. John Grimson, Sycamore Row. So that's those. And the last thing in this basket, I found this like necklace from um, Rue 21. 
and it looks like this and it's in perfectly good condition so that's that okay so okay next is bath and body works i found a, i found a little bag of goodies from bath and body works first two things that are not here were like some really smelly good type of foamy glitter foam lotion sprays i gave those to my sister asia and my little cousin zamaya so the things that i have left are mine to keep i honestly don't shop at bath and body works i go for two cents and one of those are limited edition which is the apple uh holiday apple or whatever it's called and the other one is like the warm vanilla sugar or whatever but other than that i mean i guess if it's free i'll take it because these actually smell really good these were the testers but they're pretty much halfway full this one is cool coconut surf which looks like this and for bath and body works it cannot be at your local mall because you will not get anything from there it has to be like a uh are they strip malls I guess like the little strip malls that are the stores are individual outside it has to be one of those because the dumpster will be behind that but this is cool surf cool coconut surf this one is amber blush which again is halfway full it smells amazing and then I got two lotions one of which is mad about you and sweet summer kiss which looks like that and from pier one imports these glimmer strings which is like led lights and you're supposed to be able to do like different things with these like put them and stuff make it glow type thing it's not a christmas thing it's just an all around all of all year round thing um and the last thing from bath and body works were these light flowers wallflowers so here they are I got four of them this one is a brown flower a fish like a koi fish I love this is my favorite this one is just plain little like basket type of design and this one is just a plain one as well so that's everything I got from Bath and Body Works and I can't really tell you the best things to go because that's pretty much to your own discretion because you got to decide like when they come and get the trash like that's honestly true because some of the places like that shopping center I went Ulta was completely bare like I'm gonna have to try and go during the week Ulta was completely bare they did not have any trash but Bath and Body Works had stuff all in their trash can so it's like you gotta nitpick and see what's what and that same shopping center also has a sephora and they were empty too so i'm gonna have to go back but yeah um next is stuff from gamestop um yeah stuff from gamestop so one thing i found was this like little what is that game? Like you put the stuff on the thing and they come alive or something. I can't remember what it is, but I found that. And these are just game cases. I'll show you what they look like. Um, we lucked up and found two games out of this stack, but I don't think one of the games is not in here. But this was Trivial Pursuit. These are just cases. Avatar the game. Monster Jam Path of Destruction. Motor Racer. Math Blaster. I remember this game for like the computer. So the last two games are the Super Mario Brothers, which I'm keeping because it has the Club Nintendo and we have a Wii U here. So we can use those, I guess. And we found this game which is Star Wars 3 for the Xbox 360, but I think they threw it away because it has like this ring around it. <clears throat> but we shall see. And the last thing I got, whoops, 
I found a lot of stuff from Five Below, but there's some other stuff mixed in here too. Um, CVS threw this away. It was in a box, but I used the box to throw away all the stuff that was like completely broken from Five Below because what I did, everything was literally at Five Below in a box and I just threw it in a bag. But this little thing, it came with the gun and you shoot it and it takes points here. So I got that for the Sharon. Um, three of these cases for tablets the only thing wrong was that the um, strap was broken which can easily be fixed um, where am I gonna sit this stuff um this thing which I'm probably just gonna I don't know I think I don't know I think it's a lid to like a one of those um are they called awning I can't remember but like one of those things you put your feet on. Next is a microphone, which doesn't seem to be anything wrong with it, but since I'm making this video, I will be testing the majority of this stuff out today. And I'll let you know in the next dumpster dive haul video. Um, By the way, if you guys like these videos, thumbs up please and also let me know down below your comments and tips and tricks and whatever you know or whatever you can teach me or whatever um next is this micro usb wall power adapter which doesn't seem to be anything wrong besides that somebody tried to rip it open which all of that stuff i'm just gonna lay to the side Next is the other PlayStation game. I mean, game that we found, which is Killzone 2, which looks pretty brand new. <laughs> and um, comes with the manual. And the only thing, I don't think it was nothing wrong, by the way. It just honestly looks a little dusty. But other than that, the disc looks fine. So my boyfriend's gonna try that out and see if it works. But this is the game. Next is a power stick, which looks like this. Don't know what's wrong with it, but it looks brand new. Looks like it's never honestly been open, but this is what it looks like. Some headphones. Ooh, can't tell what's wrong with this, but it's the headphones. Uh. I found like several of these little Wii stands, which we own Wii, so we'll probably use those. This little candle holder from Pier 1, the only thing that was wrong is that it's missing this little, um, what is this, gem thing right here. But other than that, it looks practically brand new. And it retails for $40. Up. all right um the next thing this is my boyfriend's it's a pegboard multiple tool holder which also came from the tool store harbor freight and the only thing that was wrong with this was that one of the tool holder things came off but we have like a soldering iron which is like a thing you can use to melt metal back onto metal so that's cool can fix that easily ah. um the next was like this half a bottle of nail polish remover which comes in handy because the kids like to do nails around here next is this pump gun for the little bear thing i showed you this goes with that and you shoot in there and you get your home Um, whoops. Next are these headphones. What was wrong with these is that it's missing one of the cushions on it. Which I can tell off the top. They also came in this box. So I'm super excited about this and I hope that it works. It is another um, mobile charging device. So. Um, 
neck from the same place that the um, tools came from is this tape measure. Only thing that was wrong was the clip was missing off the back, but lo and behold, the clip was in the trash can with it. So this may be something that my boyfriend can fix, he said, so it shouldn't be a big deal. Um, found tons and tons of these ornaments at the Dollar Tree. They're supposed to be like hand painted ornaments, look like this, cool shooting gun because we have a lot of these like the actual nerf guns and stuff and we have shootout wars with the kids <laughs> so I'm glad we got this too because it actually works two more of these um, power sticks whoops power sticks looks like that um a lot of these profusion makeup palettes now some of these were broken but most of these all of these i'm giving to asia so she can play with makeup because that's her new favorite hobby so um i threw away a lot of stuff in this bag but i still ended up with a lot but um here's the palette this shadow right here was broken but it's still good enough for her to use here's a profusion palette and the only one was broken was this one is just missing like a chunk out of this side of it. This one right here. You guys can see the damage there. Um, here's that other case. This little bag. I'm sure we can find something to do with it. A tumbler, which is just broken here, which can easily be fixed. Looks like that. Um, this is the Neon Brights 10 Color Pearl Eye Collection, which this can easily be smashed back down, like pressed back down, or either just scraped out, depending on what she wants to do with it. Uh, this Profusion palette, which looks like this. And it pulls out too, okay. And only one shadow was like thrown out or missing, which looks like that. This palette, which nothing was wrong with it. They may have just thrown it out. Oh wait, I take that back. It was something wrong. This does not supposed to lift up from that, so they just threw it out. Uh, I found several phone cases, which looks like this. So phone cases. another decoration a phone case for an iPhone which looks like this and this palette the same as the one I showed you before which is slightly broken another we stand these gloves came from like uh, I can't remember it was connected with the Bath and Body Works dumpster it was like a clothing store I cannot remember which clothing store though uh, excuse me these are oil blotting sheets from So Fresh So Clean. A Nintendo 3DS game case, which looks like this. And it 
holds four games. This little um necklace, which I don't even know how that guy is there. More palettes. More palettes, which look like this. And this one was only knit. There isn't anything wrong with that one. So she shouldn't be asking for any more of my makeup. And this one is just ruined, but I'm, I guess I just, I don't know what I thought I was doing with that, but that's what it looks like. It doesn't look half as bad on camera as it does in real life. And then this one, it wasn't anything wrong with this one. And the last thing was this little odds and ends. This is another Profusion palette. And then this is some kind of something from the tool thing. I forgot what my boyfriend told me he does. And this was in perfectly good condition from GameStop. It is the Nintendo Wii U. Um, adapter for the actual big uh, game pad so that's that Oops. and the last thing is this uh, charger I'm assuming because it was out of the box they just decided to be done with it but that's it so that is everything that I got from my dumpster dive haul. If you guys want to see more videos like this, then let me know down below and I will be sure to do this. This haul accumulated over the course of two days, literally. I just struck big when I went to five below. That's pretty much it. Um, the next place I intend to look is Ulta, which I'm super excited about. But check your local Dollar Trees. They always have stuff. Um, Five Below and GameStops are like the main ones, but yeah. But again, but if you guys found this video useful, helpful, or entertaining in any type of way, don't forget to thumbs up, comment down below, and hit that subscribe button. So until next time, thank you guys for watching. Bye.